Speaking to you from LimeMacedo.com. My name is Lime Macedo. Today, the date is uh, what's the date? Uh, 30th June 2016. Time right now is uh, 1.51 in the afternoon. All right. Um, uh, yeah, it's strange that I get some questions like this, but uh, Loy, what are your thoughts on living a life of fulfillment? Okay, that's, that's a new one. Okay. Um, <laughs> All right, um, that's, uh, you know, it, it, it's a rather thought-provoking question, if you ask me, living a life of fulfillment. Um, see, the, you need to understand that, oh, my phone is weak, you need to charge it, okay. You need to understand that I've lived my life um, doing whatever I love doing, okay, living the life of my dream. So, if you had asked me, uh, and I've gone through various stages and phases in my life. So if you had asked me when I was in my 20s, my life of fulfillment was uh, that I could go to the gym, that I could uh, bodybuild, that I was, you know, I was a DJ. Um, I had lots of girlfriends. Uh, I was enjoying life, uh, enjoying the attention, being an MC uh, uh, on stage, getting paid for it. So for me, that was a life of fulfillment. If you had asked me, let's say, uh, around seven, eight years ago. Uh, it was the phase where I was working for a job under a CEO where I didn't have to do anything. He was paying me, I think, of 4,000 US dollars plus a house, plus servants, plus uh, uh, a beautiful, overpriced, expensive car costing, I think, 50,000 US dollars. Company paid and maintained for free. And I could do whatever I liked because he was very close to me. Uh, I was going out with all the women possible once again, again, uh, in my free time, speaking uh, at uh, events, uh, getting paid for it as a speaker, being a Toastmaster, taking part in public speaking competitions. For me, that was a life of fulfillment. And uh, if you had asked me just maybe, just hardly a month ago, just one month ago, if you had asked me what is, uh, describe my life of fulfillment, I'll tell you exactly the way I'm living. I'm earning big money, easy money, working five days in a month, uh, meeting all the girls that I possibly can, uh, meeting all the successful people, uh, being called as a uh, expert in the industry, buying and reading whichever book I like, blogging, putting up videos, enjoying my life absolutely uh, perfectly, getting up whenever I like, sleeping whenever I like. So. I was, you know, being a triad leader, I was living the life of my dreams. I mean, earning enough money that I can blow off whenever I like. So that was life of fulfillment. But now if you ask me, what is the life of fulfillment? It's, it's strange. It's, it's changed. I mean, um, I, 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 I went to Go Samui, which is an island in Thailand. I saw people obviously getting up when they like, sleeping when they like, but they were happy with their with the little that they had. Obviously, they didn't have the most expensive iPhones. They didn't have the most expensive technology, something that I still like. But they were happy. They were happy eating good food. They were happy being with their families. They were happy uh, being in tune with nature. They were happy being with their loved ones. So uh, that to me was a different perspective. Now, obviously, that doesn't mean I've become this kind of monk who just wants to say chant Om and be in a uh, uh, yogic stance, you know, folding my legs in a lotus position. No, I still have things that I'm passionate about, reading books. Uh, uh, I'm passionate about blogging. I'm passionate about learning, education. Um, but yeah, my perspective has changed. Okay, so... What am I trying to say? Living a life of fulfillment, it depends on various phases of your life. So based on the, the, the phase of life that you're on, it'll determine whether you're happy, you're not happy, what is fulfillment to you or what is not. Like for instance, maybe today having the fastest iMac, the fastest toys, uh, technology in my hands, I mean that to me can be a sense of fulfillment maybe a couple of years down the line maybe it would be you know being with the baby you know i don't know just just saying uh, because i've never experienced that i don't know what it is 
So every stage of your life is different. Uh, once upon a time, being a bodybuilder with you know 18 in charms, 20 in charm, being massive for me was a sense of fulfillment, uh, uh, feeling healthy. Maybe today it would be being as thin as possible, uh, having enough muscles that I need, functional muscles, being able to meditate, being a peace of mind, being in good health, being able to do yoga, being able to eat healthy. Maybe that is fulfillment. So every stage of your life is a phase. And at every stage, you would know what is the sense of fulfillment. So I'm just sharing with you this perspective as to what I feel is living a life of fulfillment. And end of the day, I'll tell you, it's all about being happy. So if you can be happy, if you can be complete in what you're doing, I think uh, that in itself is a life of fulfillment. But yeah, running behind money, running behind uh, things that money can buy at the cost of things that money cannot buy, I don't think that is cool for me. So live from livemacedo.com and it was live uh, sharing with you his views on living a life of fulfillment. Let me know what you think. Love to hear from you. Goodbye for now.